out here in Placer City hanging out with the boys. But at some point I did 91 out here today. What's up guys, I'm John Walter, Walter Boat Motorsports, out here in Placer City hanging out with the boys. Brought the Ranger out, figured we'd do a little test before the mint, but now that's in December, so we're just out here having fun. Welcome to Plaster City, let's party. Your speed at around 70. I'm not sure to be honest. We're gonna try to pay attention to that, but at some point I did 91 out here today. All right, brother, take it easy. Let's have fun. What's up guys, it's uh, Brandon here with John from Ultra Build Motorsports from Arizona. Yeah. Arizona just had a fun day in uh, Plaster City. Yeah. Truck ripped through some big stuff. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun playing with the boys. How was it? It was pretty sick today. It was rad. Yeah. Nothing broke. Nothing broke. Truck Nothing broke. Mission. Solid day. Drove it back on the trailer. Yeah. Driving home. Uh, dude, tell us a little bit about this truck. So, I've had the truck. I don't know, since 2007, um, built, it was just like a mild pre-runner with some glass and just some janky front kit. Just wanted to build a pre-runner, so we started out just put a Camper 5.5 kit on it, linked it, and it's just kind of like evolved from there. It went from a four-banger pre-runner to a V8 pre-runner. Ford now Ranger, yeah? Full-blown, yeah, it's all, Ford Ranger. yeah, 2000 Ford Ranger. Hell 2000 yeah. steel cab working doors. Basically a race truck now, 1450 truck, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's probably more the 450 Pro now. I would Hell think yeah. the 1450 Hell guys yeah. would appreciate if I don't show up there anymore. <laughs> so. Dude, what's the, uh, what's the shock package on this thing? So the shock package up front, we're running a 40 Fox Bypass um, and a 2.5 coilover, 12 inch stroke, all tuned by Keith at KDM. Did you run the truck at first without it being tuned? Or no. Yeah, I did. Uh, it was horrible, and then I went to somebody else and tuned it, and it uh, actually it was Wayne at Fox, and he got me going pretty good. Hell yeah. um, and then kind of shifted gears to somebody else, and it kind of went backwards. So that's when I hooked up with uh, Nick and Darren, and 
just talked about Keith, and Keith is the only guy that touches these shocks now. Nice. So, what's how much? Because everyone always asks, like, how much travels in the front? It's strapped at 18. Strapped at 18, and then what's the? Uh, you got a uh, method of uh, V-locks yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's got method methods. V-locks, 40-inch tire, right? Yeah, 40-inch BFGs. 40-inch BFG, soak up the big holes. Yeah, and nothing what's better the, than a 40-inch tire. What's on the back for shots? So the back, it's got a 3.0 coilover and a 4.0 bypass, and it's a 16-inch stroke and an 18-inch stroke. How much travels on the back? Uh, I believe it's strapped at 29 inches. 29. That's enough to get it done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it eats up holes pretty good. What rear end is that? It's a uh, two burks four inch housing. Uh, it's out of a 6100 trophy truck. Is it, what's the wide? Is it 40 wide? Uh, Jumbo 36. Jumbo 36. Yeah, trophy truck. You want to tell us a little bit about the motor? Yeah, so the motor is a uh, LS3 416. It dynos about 470 horse to the rear tire, about 660 torque. And then uh, to complete the sound of it, I got my Black Widow Race Venoms and my Black Widow Widowmakers on each side. Oh yeah, shout out to Black Widow. So, yeah dude, this thing's rad. What else, what else do we not know about it? Uh, well, it's been who's, converted who's to a, it? It's been converted to a J arm. It's it's a custom kit. Custom uh, my J arm. My buddy Christian over at Jacks Motorsports helped me design it Hell and yeah. build it. And a buddy of mine, Derek, helped me weld up some of the stuff. And Christian welds up things as well. Um, I think I heard uh, BTF Fab. Yeah, on B some, some BTF stuff. Fab. Unfortunately, Brandon, your things are a little dirty, but they're still holding in strong. BTF Fab links right there. They're uh, full chromoly, all plate, canoe style trailing arms. Hell yeah. Yeah, Brandon, Travis, Fab, those guys, those guys do rad work. They did. They built a uh, pre-runner bumper for my old Frontier, it's like some, way back in the day. Some of the nicest dudes, hands down. Yeah. Those guys One are the solid. They work out of their shop. I've so. kind of become his trailing arm R&D guy. So, dude, you're, you missed out on the race, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be in a couple weeks, and it's no longer in a couple weeks. Or actually, so, sorry, a month. When's the next race going to be? You know, I don't know. Um, probably look at some races later in the year once all this COVID stuff's over with. I'm tired of them canceling races. So maybe look at Battle at Prim, uh, see maybe the Mint, but the Mint lines up right with Rage of the River, which is still one of my favorites that I want to conquer it this year. So sure. probably maybe push the Mint until next year, early in the year when they do it. So probably just going to play around, hit a few events, <laughs> a couple trips, just enjoy the truck. It's been right fun. On, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, all right, dude. So, uh, John, thanks for inviting us all out here today to shoot. Hopefully, you guys like this video. And yeah, that's a wrap. I think we're heading home. Yeah. Cool. Back to Arizona and back to Orange County for us. So, all right, awesome. you guys. Thanks, brother. Yeah, man. Sweet. That was that, dude. That was rad. Truck felt good, flew good. Did you see me in the bush? Yes, I did, and all of a sudden I landed and the truck went that way. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I f myself. I, no, I saw you, <laughs> and I was like, all right, so hold it straight, and then we kind of went up over a whoop, and it came off, and the tires gripped, and just immediately went that way. Yeah, I mean, I asked everybody if the bush will help protect me, and everybody said yes. Oh yeah, so. the bush is like a concrete block wall with a bunch of rebar in it. That's what I feel like. Safe.